This is D Brown, the Begotten Son, and today we're going to dive within the sound wave of Off White. So we go right into this track with my vocals coming in, all black, everything, switch it up, off white. To set the tone of how this joint gonna go, I will first go into this hook, cause I go into the hook on the song, but I will first break down this hook real quick, and then I'll go ahead and give some, some clarifications for this whole song, for the song as a whole. So, break coming in with with those lyrics right there it sound it's like we're moving away from having to look at what the big big name companies are doing and just having to follow everything that they do and that they do and now we're in a in a place where in the economy and just in time right now where we can look at different brands and follow different brands that's going on so now that we have different brands that we can follow and different companies that we can follow we are now being able to select what we want to go ahead and put our money behind who we want to go ahead and support so with this all black everything switched it up off white this is a double play on meanings where off white is a company a clothing company actually owned by virgil which is a black owned company so that just ties in right there all on um, black owned you know everything off white so that's where i got the idea from seeing his achievements and seeing that he's a black owned um business person who actually is respected within the high fashion industry so then we take that over to the double meaning where this is not like a hate speech or anything <laughs> but it's like we know that the big companies the big brands that we always follow is always owned by basically white people and all that so when we have this happen within our culture where it's like okay this is something we can celebrate so now we go into this whole thing where we can celebrate black or all black everything switch it up off white so it's just something for at least for our community we can celebrate this so then it goes into the hook it's black on we off white see we so couture off white so couture basically just reiterate everything i just said where it's black on we off white see we so couture which is why i put so couture right there seeing that off white is a clothing line a clothing brand i should say um right there a high-end clothing brand and of course with high-end clothing clothing they always call it couture high couture stuff like that so that's where that whole saying comes in for that hook before i go into the verse I will say with this song, Off White, I had had it in mind where I wanted to make a song where we can celebrate black excellence, which is why I have those that in the hook. But I wanted to celebrate black excellence in a way where when you're listening to the song, it don't feel like it's a... Uh, such a, a, a positive song like it's such a oh here we go with one of these songs oh okay i wanted to make it where you can play this joint in the car play this joint in the club dance off to it and all that if you're not listening to the lyrics then you can go ahead and bounce to it dance to it it got a great bounce to it but if you decide to listen to the lyrics then you will actually hear that this is something that's uplifting our people meanwhile with the flow and the and, and every way i rap the song I wanted where it's just in the pocket a certain way, have a certain flow where you can just nod your head toward it and not even worry about is this positive or isn't it? And seeing that it's on the positive side, I didn't want it to be so cheesy positive. I wanted it to be a thing, like I said, of celebration. And with that celebration, I also played on a lot of things which we will get into with this, is that this type of song plays off of the fact of we know as black people, we've been through a lot here. We've been through a lot through the history. And instead of attacking this with a victim mindset, I wanted to attack it and show like everything that we've been through, we actually can pull out a lot of stuff from it because what we have done through the three years throughout history is take all these things that's bad that happened to us and we capitalize off of it. We overcome it, become better people, stronger people all through it. So instead of coming from it and being like this is not fair i try i put a spin on everything and show like okay this happened to us but look how we're we're striving today so that's the black excellence that i break down within this song so let's get right into the first verse remember back in college i was undecided because 
I knew exactly what I wanted, I knew they didn't have it A little mathematics, it's easy with the Spanish But they wasn't talking my language, I wanted to evolve dangerous Autobiography, you know, wanted to go into a certain field which was audio engineering but at that time, the college did not, the university did not have audio engineering there. So that's why I say I was undecided. So, cause I just went on ahead and chose undecided as my major because I knew exactly what I wanted. So it was, it's funny to be undecided cause you know what you want, but they just don't have it. Throughout college, you know, it's like, all right, I'm getting this, this course with math. I'm getting this course with the Spanish and all that. And it's, and, at the same time, I'm just like, this is not what I wanted. I want to evolve dangerous. Like this is my college years. These are the years where, you know, you feel like, okay, these are, this is what I want to do in life. And right now I'm not evolving into what I want to do because they don't have what I want to do on campus. Went from picking cotton to picking cotton for the right fabric. Damn, we keep them fresh with no diamonds on our chest, but we shine ain't nothing less. God damn them niggas fresh. Never die, never die. We just move on to the next god damn went from picking cotton to picking cotton for the right fabric we went from having to do this thing that we was forced to do now we're doing something where it's just such high end and when you own a business like that that's high end and you're picking the right the right stuff and you're selling it now you're getting paid a lot of money from something that you used to have to do as a slave the god damn we keep them fresh with no diamonds on our neck so like of course with a lot of rampers and all that you see the diamonds on that we don't even need the diamonds or anything we just know how to just be on point every time we step out and then i move on to that never die spot right there where basically it's just like we had a lot of things come against us it was a lot of things that they try to do against us to just stamp us out of history but we just never die we always as they say with the baby kids multiply and all that we just kept on coming back kept on coming back stronger and we keep on rising above anything that the system or history try to throw at us and you know that the future is bright you know we created it right you know what the culture is like you know we created it right you know what the future is like because we created it it's 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 like what they say, the empires of the future is the empires of the mind. What we see around us today and what we will see, it's a lot of foundation in, of course, our culture, but American culture, American history that is built off of our backs and built off of our knowledge and what the future is going to be like. We, we should know because we're creating we're creating it and we created it and then we move on to the next part you know what the culture is like because we created it and that basically goes right off of what i just said like when it comes to culture hip-hop right now is the biggest thing biggest genre that's out where it started from oh that's just one of those things that they do on the block that ain't going nowhere that's just dumb stuff don't even listen to it now a lot of people in every area not just as they used to say in the early 2000s now a lot of kids in the suburbs playing it no now a lot of people across over and all around the world is playing this hip-hop music and of course with hip-hop music you have hip-hop um dancing you have hip-hop clothing and uh and everything that we did within hip-hop that's now just penetrated everything that we know in our culture and you can't go anywhere without hearing seeing tasting any something that has a little speck of what we do in it. You see that we making that hype, incorporated to the price. Now we creating the price, distribute and pivot it, right? Basically right there, this is once again, where we coming from and what's still going on now, but we're, we're, we're moving into a different spot now, where it's basically like we would do something, our people would do something and corporations would capitalize off of what we done. Corporations would capitalize off of the image that we would put out there. We would be the talent and they would get, they would sell our talent. Now we are the ones making the price, distributing it and all that. So now we are the ones still capitalizing off of our talents, but it's coming straight to us now. See we fly, see us fly, we done came far. See us hop up in the cars and we push stars. It's black excellence, this is what you came for. All black, everything, switched it up, off white. So right there, you see us fly. This just incorporates everything I just said for this first verse where, you know, we do things uh, and we just 
just do it and we just look good doing it you know we we, we pride ourselves on a lot of things that we do now that we're just moving up in the in the higher echelons of all this and we're looking good while we're doing it and this is one of those things where i in this hook i thought about you know i thought about diddy i thought about puff daddy when he always celebrates black excellence and all that so i had to throw that in there this is black excellence this is what you came for this is a celebration right here out of all the darkness that we have in our history we come out and we see in the light slave to the rhythm to the bounce but i own my masters and you know she got her masters green on at the masters slave to the rhythm um i took this from michael jackson line mainly because it's like when it comes to this music for me it's like and for a lot of people who listen to music, we're a slave to that rhythm. Once once we hear a nice song, a nice beat that comes in, a nice bounce, we have to move to it. You know, we, we're right there with it. So, and of course, this is just playing off of the whole slavery in our, in our backgrounds, you know. But slave to the rhythm, but now, you know, I own my masters when it comes to the music, you know, I own my publishing, I own the rights to my music and all that, the copyrights and all that. So now I own my master. Then I, I flipped master a couple times to have fun to show like, we're not just people who know how to come up out of poverty or just make a come up through music or through basketball. And you know, she got her masters. It's a shout out to my wife because she has a master's in cellular molecular biology. We have different things that we can do to still come up you know so then i move on to the third one which is you know in green on at the masters a predominantly all white sport and here you come with tiger woods who comes in and now they say you know oh the tiger woods effect we move different move different you know they're gonna hate when the roof missing i rock off on my top off only nigga that can talk a top off niggas the one that i run with my eye already know that i'm making it hot in the whip and I whip it like pots. No need for whipping the whip in the pots. Having a lot of fun with the lyrics, um, delivering the lyrics with a different flow. Like I said, the flow that you can just go ahead and dance to if you're not listening. But you know, when I say I run with my ock, ock is another a term for brother. Hop in the whip and I whip it like pots. Um, of course, pots with whippings, whipping in there. See that we killing the stereotypes, entrepreneurial, changing it right. Like when we did when we touching the mic, like when we enter the sports, all right. No need for whipping the whip in the pots, no need for being the people. That's that's just stuck in this in the kitchen slaving away as we know like the house slaves had to do and all that See we're killing the stereotypes, you know is once again We're not doing the same thing not following the same program that was prescribed to us over the years, you know So now we're changing the stereotype Entrepreneurial within this digital age is making it easier for entrepreneurs to come up and do things So now we're on that finding a way for ourselves to come up like when we did when we touching the mic easy I just said that earlier when I said about hip hop and then like what we did when we into the sports. All right, so when it comes to the sports, I already touched on Tiger Woods with what he did in a, in a sport that was predominantly white, like we did in all these other sports like basketball. It was one way and then once we came in there, they had to start making new rules because of how we started doing things, how well we shot. They start pushing the three point line back because we was just killing it at the three point line, the slam dunks, everything. Thing. Every part of the sports that we went into, we start changing things. And then I come and follow that up with the line about like, when you don't act like you ain't see what Serena did to the US Open. Don't act like you ain't seen what Serena did to the US Open. Making them change the rules, see, cause we got them afraid to lose. But we adapt and pushing the boundaries, then we adapt despite your attacks. Through the centuries, nothing can hold us. When we come swinging as big as a boulder, hold up. And so with Serena, you know, where, where I say about that, that's basically once again we see what she's done to that sport it became a certain point where she was so dominant that they start picking away at every single thing they start picking away at how she's dressed they start picking away at her body built and all that saying that she's built like a man and this is unfair and all that and they just keep on trying to change the rules or apply pressure to try to slow us down but we keep on rising and overcoming everything that they put in our path we showed them the bling now we show them what we dripping in we showed them the swag now we show them what is lit again we showed her the bird and showed her the bird and yeah we feel the pressure but that pressure makes a diamond yeah we ran to rest this is play off of what i what i was saying about culture we showed them the bling like we made up the term bling 
my man Lil Wayne made up said said bling first and now we move on to what we say now today with as of right now drip you know so we just keep on changing the culture the culture was bling that was all cool then everybody started saying it and now we're on a new thing called drip we showed them the swag everybody was on swag I mean swagger has always been a word but we made it cool through hip hop you know we show them swag now everybody starts saying swag in the way that we say swag now we move on and show them what is lit today for right now you know so we keep on doing these things to show that we move the culture forward we shoulder the burden yeah we feel the pressure where this comes in because of once again everything that we go through to, through daily life and even now through daily life where we have to deal with with a lot of the different pr police brutalities and all that we shoulder the burden of our of our skin colors we shoulder the burden of discriminations that we go through and all that. Yeah, we shoulder that, but we find a way to keep on overcoming because we know, like I said, when I made this track, I wanted to make it a celebration to overcome that and not from a victim mindset. So within that celebration, it's more of, we feel this pressure, but pressure make diamonds. So this is why we shine, because every time you apply pressure to us, we just overcome and we shine even brighter. So it's like a thank you because we have to be better. That's another thing we we in our communities always heard, or at least I heard coming up. In any any field that we're going into, if we're going into the boardroom, if we're going, you know, into the workplace and all that, they always say you gotta be ten times better than a white man. You gotta be ten times better and all that. And usually when we hear that like it's a negative thing, so societal wise, that is a negative thing. But when it comes to people who are actually celebrating this if you if you take that it's like okay if i have to be 10 times better that means i have to work 10 times harder if i work 10 times harder then i will have skills that nobody else who had everybody else who have the privilege to not have to be 10 times better they don't have the type of skills that I have now because I had to work 10 times harder. I'm 10 times stronger than that next person because I had to put more into it. See we fly, see us fly, we the gang fuck. Yeah. See yeah. us Okay, so then we go right from there back into the hook and basically that's everything right there packaged in so a nice way so you can bounce to it. That's off white. You can find that on all streaming services right now. And for now, my name is D Brown Begotten Son and I'm out.